Hi everyone, my name is Kiran and I am a fourth year student at the University of Toronto studying immunology and health and disease. Today we're going to be doing a rainbow walking water science experiment where I'm going to show you how water can walk from one cup right into the next. The rainbow is formed because of capillary action, a process that occurs every day all around us. Keep watching to see how we put this process to work. All you need for this experiment is paper towels, red, blue and yellow food coloring, seven small plastic cups, and of course, water. Let's get started. To set up, we're going to take four plastic cups and fill them almost all the way to the top with water. Make sure you put enough water in each cup. If there's not enough water, the experiment will take a lot longer and will not be as effective. Now we're going to add five drops of red food coloring to the first cup, blue food coloring to the second cup, yellow food coloring to the third cup, and red again to the last cup. Before we can use the paper towels, each one needs to be folded two times lengthwise and then once in the middle so that they can fit easily into the cups. Now we're going to line the cups up in a row, placing the empty cups in between the full ones. Now we're going to place the folded paper towels in between each cup. As time passes, we should start to see the empty cups filling up with water. All done, now we just have to wait and see what happens. You're probably wondering how the water was able to move up the paper towels. The answer is capillary action. Capillary action allows liquids to move up through narrow spaces without the help of external forces. Drinking water through a straw is not an example of capillary action because you're using the external force of suction to pull the water up the straw. The paper towels in the experiment are made up of fibers which have very tiny gaps in between them. So the water is able to move up these tiny gaps from the full cup into the empty cup. Since the empty cups were filled by two different colors, we got purple from the mixture of blue and red, green from the mixture of yellow and blue, and orange from the mixture of yellow and red. Capillary action involves three forces, adhesion, cohesion, and surface tension. But these three forces already exist without needing to be added to the experiment. Adhesion means that water molecules like to stick to other substances, in this case, the fibers of the paper towel. Cohesion means that water molecules like to stick to each other. And surface tension keeps the surface of the water intact as they move up the paper towels. These three attractive forces are what allow the water to move up the paper towel against the force of gravity, which is trying to pull the water molecules back down. Can you think of anything else made up of fibers that sucks up water? That's right, plants. Plants have capillary tubes, which are in the roots and are similar to the gaps between the fibers found in the paper towels. These capillary tubes allow the water to be drawn up from the soil through the roots to the leaves at the top of the plant. All plants from your house plants to the trees outside use capillary action every single day. So next time you're watering your garden, or using a paper towel to clean up a mess, remember that this is capillary action in motion. 
Give this experiment a try at home. And if you'd like to see more fun experiments just like this, subscribe to Pueblo Science on YouTube or check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Bye guys.